Alright, so today we are putting off our Sabrina fight by doing the Koga fight, which I think should be easier. The problem is, I didn't realize this yesterday, but his gym is mostly populated with um, psychic type trainers. Probably because they realize that um, poison's actually not all that good. I think we might try and injure law for some of these fights. But, and so, like, because Psychic Type is busted in this game, getting to the gym leader here is going to be a bit more work than I was anticipating. But yeah, a lot of these trainers I noticed have a lot of Pokemon, so we'll see if we can, like, the thing with Ender Law strategy is it gets a lot of, like, momentum behind it with all the double teams, so if we can get ourselves set up fully against one of his Pokemon, we should be able to just hopefully power our way through. And we will be double teaming up all the way, I think, because there's four Pokemon. I guess we should see how much Thund Thunderbolt does. Okay, that was a crit. Since our drowsy. Since statuses persist, we may as well Thunder Wave every non-paralyzed Pokemon we encounter. Yeah, because of that, we're not gonna get um any clean KOs, so I think we will double team up all the way and then just thunderbolt and thunder wave until we're through or out of moves and as you can tell by my um how that went, I don't think he'll be able to take another one without healing. I don't know what other trainers we'll have to fight for sure, or like, if we'll need to install Thunder Law again, but just in case I'm going to heal since I can just speed it up. Okay, I think we should have dodged yeah, the guy there. This guy, I believe, is a juggler, as you can tell by his mohawk. And so, um, I'm gonna ignore this guy's, uh, agit prop here, and I'm just gonna do the same thing here, although I shouldn't need to double team quite as many times this time. This has been a nice little preview of what the Sabrina fight is going to look like. Now I am a bit overconfident. Dropped my ball. So it's a, I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. And there's Koga. I don't want to sound overconfident, but I think we can take him. All his Pokemon are weak to... Um, Psychic, and we have revived, so I'm just gonna go for it. Maybe I'll have to restart this video, but um, you're being very intense for talking to a child. Like, I think everyone else is just gonna be like pivots to like while we revive in the sushi. I don't want to test out side beam and see if that'll KO if I can help it. But yeah, you see? No, I would not like to change Pokemon. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of commentary for this uh, fight gonna be pertinent. 
This one I might not die in one hit, and that is a little worrisome. Oh, what am I saying? It's Nasuji. Easy. Okay, this is gonna be the actual uh, test, level 50. It's faster, don't like that. How much damage does it do? Like half. Over half. It's gonna, um, probably reach life again. And we won't have a good, um, answer to that, so we'll just use Yalve. Was this a mistake? Because we have one less pivot now. But I think... Uh, yeah, let's... And then we will, um... Lemonade Nasuji. I don't know whether or not this will KO because Yalis is pretty hardy. Yeah, that did surprisingly little. Double kick is not going to be super effective, is it? And how much damage is this going to do? The bar is not moving. Okay, Nasuji, it's uh, crit time, right? Not what I meant, although I did see that happening in my head. I did, that was what I thought. Maybe I should be using Ender Law, because. Got the most, um, least health. Don't like that. Lemonade, I think, yeah. Okay, I think. I should have used another revive, that was a mistake. I guess let's see if we can stall a bit with Angela. I should have just used Revive. Okay, I need to test something with Lily Aston. First thing we're obviously going to do is use Revive on someone who's hardy, like... Yalas, so we can... Do another Revive if need be. Okay, Lily Aston, as I thought, is going to be able to take a lot of hits. So we need to maximize um, Nasuji's chances of getting in a couple hits. Smart play on his end, actually. 
We do have an antidote. Okay, well, uh, not my day, it looks like. We just got a sand attack here, but we can. We've got four sand attacks. I think one more than me is another revive to keep our backup here going. Who could we revive? Um, when you're allowed to get hit surprisingly well. I maybe should have, um, killed up Nasuji. But, I mean, we have a few lemonades and the chance of the, um, Venomoth getting off a hit is less than it would normally be, so... Now it's just who can land hits first is the question. And, uh, yeah, okay, there we go. Now we win. That was, um, a harder fight than it needed to be, because I, of course, went in hubris a-blazing, but I was not punished for it. So there you go. Fifty bucks. That's pretty cool. And there's one other thing here. This is actually big. Like, normally the TMs are just like, okay, that's cool, whatever. Toxic. In this game... That counter that makes Toxic build up over the course of a battle... Also uses the same counter as the one, uh... Leech Life does, which, um, Yalve knows. Not Leech Life. Um, Leech Seed. And so, if you have a Pokemon afflicted by both, you will progressively heal. So that two-move combo alone will make Yalve, like, super strong. And I've got a couple other moves I have planned on top of that, which should make Yalve, like, really earn their place. Like right now it seems like they're not doing a lot, but when I get done with my um, plan here, like I think Yalve is going to be like, be, will be able to cheese as much as um, Buddy here is doing. We got a heart. Did, have we gotten a heart before? Okay. We're really doing good with that. Uh, Angela.